audience, please stand until the national anthem. Surya Kamesh will recite the flag salute, followed by the singing of the national anthem by Angelina Cuccinella and Kirsten Marcelin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. faculty, family, friends, and loved ones. Welcome to the eighth grade commencement. I would like to thank Mrs. Sharples, Mrs. Bozak, Mrs. Abrams, Mrs. Farino, Mrs. Fierro, Ms. Patero, Mr. Wartell, the Middle School Home and School Association, the Elmwood Park Police Department, Mr. Bukreski, Mr. Sapol, and the custodial and maintenance staff for their help throughout the year in tonight's ceremony. As principal, it is my honor to stand here before you, class of 2022. In just a few minutes, eighth graders, you're going to receive diplomas to mark your middle school graduation. The last three years have flown by, and your middle, your middle school has had an experience like no other. The class of 2022 had an unusual middle school experience. With a little over a year and a half of pre-pandemic school, a first semester of fully virtual with the option to return hybrid, and then finally a homecoming to the building. As I bid you farewell from the middle school and prepare you for the next chapter, I decided to compile high school advice from this year's graduating class to give you a regret-free high school experience. Be mindful there's no right answer to high school and no right way to successfully graduate. It varies by person. Don't be afraid to experiment and find out what's right for you. One, you have time. Many students forget they have time to figure out what they want. It may seem like everything's happening quickly and in a mere four years you're moving on to college or entering the workforce. Be mindful that there's no set timeline to find your path. Figuring out your goals takes time and that's okay. High school is all about discovery and that includes what you like and don't like. Two, get involved early. It's never too late to start exploring. You don't know how, you don't, need to know exactly what you want to do in the long term, but you can certainly figure out what you want to do in the short term. Maybe discover a new interest along the way. Explore what high school has to offer. Pick a class, join a club, or a sport 
that possibly your friend is not joining too. If you ever dislike, this, dislike something, then you know that it's, it's not a waste of time, but you were able to figure out what you like and don't like. This is where the third piece of high school, high school advice comes in. Be a self-starter. High school is incredibly different from middle school. Everything from picking classes to finding opportunities will require more self-motivation. So now, more than ever, it's important for you to take charge and be a self-starter. Be your own advocate. Learning self-reliance is not only incredibly important in the classroom, but a, criti a critical skill that you'll need behind high school. It's beneficial to start developing these, school these skills now, learning how to study and teach yourself and finding the right learning habits. The internet has a world of resources if you're willing to look for them. But that being said, never be afraid to reach out to your teachers. They're here to help. Four, find a balance. Many students um, in high school can be incredibly stressed. Between studying, sports, work, clubs, other commitments, there's a lot on your plate. Even, ad even adults struggle with this too. Learning to take time for yourself is a vital skill. So learn now how to manage your busy schedule and take time for yourself. One of the largest misconceptions about high school is that you must join every club and take on every leadership position. And that just leads to more stress. Being deeply involved in one or two activities is just as important and if not just as impressive to colleges than joining a multitude of things. You've probably heard it a million times before, but there's no blueprint for success and no minimum amount of activities you should be involved in. So find the right balance. Finally, have fun. High school goes by. It won't have a drastic effect on your GPA. Above all, don't worry and don't stress. Spend time with your friends super busy. You'll quickly realize the next four years will fly by. Just remember to make those memories before you're tossing your high school graduation cap. 2022 graduates, your class has shown resilience, strength, and grace while missing out on so much the past two, three years. Your middle school experience has been unique, but you will not be forgotten. The staff and I are excited to see where you will lead and we'll be watching right from next door. Congratulations, eighth grade class of 2022. I would now like to call up Dr. Anthony Iacchetti, Superintendent of Schools. Good evening. I want to welcome and recognize everyone who is attending this special occasion including the Board of Ed, members of the Town Council, members of the Town Hall, and other prominent guests. To you, the family, and the graduates of 2022, welcome. I also want to take this time and this moment to say thank you for everything that you do for your children. I know over the last few years have been very tough. I know we are going to expect you to once again start over as you went to the high school and you are no longer middle schoolers. It is here where you're going to begin to map your future, and you're going to be tested. But remember, there are always going to be challenges that you encounter in your life. Also remember a few things every day. One, listen to your parents. They are always right. Thank you. I know that from my 19 and 22 year old, so trust me, I know. Two, to start the day off right, make your bed every morning. At least you know when you go home and go to sleep, that bed is going to be clean. Yeah, don't worry. I know you guys don't agree with me on that one, too. So. And third, don't blame anyone else. Instead, just work hard, take responsibility, and go as far as you want to go. I have the utmost confidence in you that you're going to break through the, any of your obstacles and reach all the goals. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you, Dr. Iacchetti. I now have the pleasure of calling up valedictorian Marupa Gosh.
Good evening, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2022. I'm Marupa Ghosh, your valedictorian. I'd like to start by thanking the people without whom this would not have been possible in the slightest. Thank you to the board members and in-school staff, ranging from Mrs. DiMartino and Mrs. Sharples to the custodians and lunch aides and everyone else I missed. Thank you to our teachers for putting up with us and for not only teaching us lessons on the curriculum, but helping us grow into better people. Specifically, thank you to Mr. Newber for first encouraging me to quench my thirst for knowledge and always challenging me. Thank you to Mrs. Martone for showing me that school is about making mistakes and learning from them, about being able to understand and apply concepts rather than numerical grades or multiple choice questions, and many third period and after school talks that have never failed to reassure me. Finally, I'd like to thank my family for being the cool type and truly bringing me to where I stand today. I'd like to start by telling you all about how I got where I am today. And sure, it's been three years of extra credit assignments and essays that go above the word limit, but no one really wants to hear about that. I was called down to Mr. Sharple's office a couple weeks ago, and I walked down, and I was thinking, what could I possibly have done wrong two weeks before summer break when I survived almost three years with a clean record? Apparently, I'm valedictorian, and my reward is that I have to write a speech. I get to do more homework, and I'm not even getting any extra credit for it. Every graduate here has a story to tell. It may not necessarily be a memorized Shakespearean passage or the quadratic formula, but we surely have learned how to skip ed puzzles and recognize the auspicious and rare smell of chicken bags with seasoned, crunchy curly fries coming from the cafeteria. And most of all, we have learned something about each other and about ourselves. This field, this school, its hallways stand testimony to the thousands of journeys taken by students interwoven throughout the years. Around, say, three days ago, when I finally decided to start drafting the speech, I realized that I had grown so dynamically as a person in the past three years that I didn't know what to speak about. When I refer to YouTube, as anyone would, I found only high school or college valedictorian speeches that were, though articulate and moving, only talking about the future of making decisions and finding aspirations. But we've all got a long way to go. Somewhere around 700 days of high school will come to bring hundreds of memories. In fact, high school will bring around 1,500 hours spent on homework, about 1,600 hours spent eating, and at least 11,000 hours spent sleeping. Or at least we should be sleeping for that long. We probably won't though. And yes, I took the time to find statistics and then calculate that time for four years. At this point, I've accepted the title of nerd. Valedictorian is just a fancy way of saying that anyways. We've got so much to get through and the next four years can be the perfect time to begin to explore and learn. You won't have to make any life altering decisions about which college to attend, which ice cream flavor to buy, which subject to major in, or which job to apply for. We can use this time to explore and branch out on our individual paths. Now is the time to indulge in our interests and curiosity. Now is the time to ask questions, and if no one has an answer, to search for that answer yourself. Not even the sky is the limit. The boundaries of our ever-expanding galaxy is. The dark bottom of the seemingly fathomless sea is. And while I am at risk of sounding like the most cliche speaker, middle school graduation is a new beginning rather than an end. As you begin to explore, graduates, keep in mind that you are trying to find yourself, not your income. That can be something to worry about in the future, though that may be difficult to accept after the way it has been taught to us that we should always know what occupation we plan to pursue. We've been through at least nine years of schooling, so being asked, what do you want to be when you grow up, is nothing new. Whether it be by an unassuming adult or through those get-to-know-me projects assigned by teachers at the beginning of the year, we've all been asked it. And while it may not be intentional, the question often misleads developing minds into thinking that the answer should be definite. 
When I was younger, the question brought up excitement. Around the age of three or four, my grandmother tells me, I used to say that I wanted to work as a doctor by day and conduct an orchestra at night. I surely was ambitious. But as I grew older, the question became harder and harder to answer. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to be. All ways of study seemed to interest me, to pull me in. How could I explain to anyone that I just wanted to keep learning? That my thirst for knowledge drew me in every single direction all at once. That there was no way I would be able to choose between being a neurologist or an aerospace engineer, between being a virtuoso pianist or a scientific journalist. When you're young, I quickly learned, it's acceptable to rattle on a long list starting with ballerina and ending with dinosaur. But those expectations change with time. Thus, a little anecdote. When my fifth grade graduation rolled around, one of many activities was to hold up a mini chalkboard that said what we wanted to be when we grew up, pictures of which would be in the yearbook. Yet, there was only room for one, and there was no way I could pick. Finally, after procrastinating on it for days, after really sitting down to think about it, I finally wrote down, happy person. I wanted to be a happy person. When I grew up, and this wasn't just me writing something down so I could get it over with, or because I had no ambitions. I just had too many. And I'm sure many of you feel the same. From, from a valedictorian, you were probably expecting my ambitions to be a doctor or lawyer or something of that nature. But when I truly thought about it, looking at the people around me, I knew I wanted to be happy. And sure, my friends laughed at me for it, but they would do that either way. And most of my family and teachers were very confused, but I knew this was an answer I would and, continue, and would continue to be proud of. I can still testify to that. So as high school rolls around in a few months, graduates, I ask you to think not about what you want to be when you grow up, but rather who and how you want to be. Because when we change that word to who, zooming out to include all the traits that make up a person, likes, dislikes, goals, dreams, morals, and most importantly, character. How you act right now will influence the future, whether that be one second away or one century. Your character is not something determined by anyone's opinion, but rather accumulation of all your actions. Shoot for the stars, not thinking about whether or not you want to be an astronaut for the rest of your life. And while I've just spent the past few minutes talking about, how the, about the rest of your academic career, take a deep breath, graduates. Summer break is on the horizon. Sit back, knowing we won't have to deal with anything school-related for the next couple of months. Congratulations again to the class of 2022. Knowing victoriously this is the last time we'll have to type anything like this until September, best regards, Morufa Coach. Thank you, Marupa. After those statistics, we may have some kids more stressed out about high school. I would now uh, like to call up Candace Wong, Student Congress President, for presentation of theme. Good evening. This is Candace Wong your student congress president. And unlike the morning announcements I've said every day for three months, let's pat ourselves on the back and wonder what on earth just happened. But before we all get into a Socratic circle and you lose points for not participating, on behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to first welcome Dr. Ayaketi, Mrs. Torrento, and each one of the Board of Education members. Thank you all for passionately working for our students every single day and improving not only our school, but our district as a whole. Welcome, Mrs. DiMartino and Mrs. Sharples. Thank you both for confidently leading our school and always being of service to the students. Welcome, all faculty and staff. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey, for helping us through tough times, and allowing your class to be a second home for us. And now, a museum of memories. 
Welcome, all family and friends. Thank you for your endless support of our class and for celebrating with us in our highs while being our backbones in our lows. I'd like to welcome my family too. So, welcome mom, dad, Wilson. Thank you for always being there for me and showing me with love. I love you guys. And welcome and congratulations to our valedictorian, Mur Bagosh. You are truly an absolutely extraordinary individual who I have looked up to for years, and you fall nothing short of an awe-inspiring friend and student. Last, but definitely not least, I would like to welcome us, the class of 2022. It's about time, isn't it? Now, back to what I was saying. If you had to name this chapter, what would you name it? Take a second to think about it. Personally, I would name this chapter something along the lines of growing up, because we've all done it, but what does it really mean to grow up? Sure, we can measure in inches, but we can also measure in experiences, and that means a lot more. From people somehow getting stuck in their locker, to getting shoved in the hallways not one, not two, but three times in the span of 10 seconds, to bailing out of your virtual presentations by telling your teacher that your Wi-Fi happened to suddenly go out, to singing songs about a bear decomposing at our field trip. And that's four memories. Four out of thousands we've made here. It's crazy that everything we had marked down on our calendars is over. And after this week, middle school will forever be in our museum of memories. We learned so much over the past few years, haven't we guys? We learned that pulling consecutive all-nighters isn't good for you, that stealing entire sinks really isn't the next big life move you want to make, and that maybe we were the problem all along. But hey, it's okay. They say, tables turn, bridges burn, you live and you learn. Well, maybe we don't remember the plot of the outsiders or how to do algebraic equations, but I'm sure we certainly learned more about ourselves. We've all changed since sixth grade, and I really like that because we're slowly shaping our personalities into people who we want to be and are comfortable being. And that change won't ever stop. As middle school quickly fades into our memories, I hope we can all take away something from our time here. Even though we've had a rough time, I'd like to make a toast to that. Because cheers to us for showing resiliency through our trials and tribulations. Cheers to us for showing up every day. And cheers to us for reaching another milestone in our lives. It really is about time, plus 2022. Thank you all so much for your time and this opportunity to speak. And once more, congratulations to us. Thank you, Candace. We're now gonna spend a few moments giving out a few awards. I'd like to call up James Moore from post number 147 to give out the American Legion Awards. Good evening, students, parents, guests. Uh, on behalf of on behalf of Commander Scagnavella and the entire post of 147 American Legion, we would like to congratulate all of you for a job well done. And I hope. I may be here again in four more years to make an appointment. That's, that's not a promise, though. It's a monkey you can walk up. The American Legion Certificate of School Awards, this Certificate of Distinguished Achievement, is awarded to Jasmine Ellis. Jasmine Ellis, come on up. This further recognition of the possession of the high qualities of courage, honor, 
leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service, which are necessary to the preservation and protection of the fundamental institutions of our government and the achievements of society. Presented by Lewis Wenzel Jr., American Canadian Post 447, June 15, 2022. Signed by Commander Joseph Kenyon Miller and John Borden. One more. And I've got one more. It's exactly the same, so who is this one? The recipient, Sebastian Latera. Once again, I thank you for inviting us to give these awards away. It's my privilege to be here. God knows how many times. With that, I have another appointment shortly. So I'm going to take you off tonight, now. And I wish you all the best of luck, all of you. Parents, students, faculty, and everybody else. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I now would like to call up the best vice principal ever, Mrs. Danielle Sharples, to talk about academic recognition. Good evening, everyone. Once again, I would like to congratulate our 2022 class valedictorian, Marupa Ghosh, for her highest academic achievement in her class. At this time, I'd like to recognize students who have been inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. These students being honored tonight have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, character, citizenship, and service. These students are wearing cords to signify their membership in the National Junior Honor Society. When I call your name, please stand. Jamie Bolingit. Christopher Barnes. Ava Dennis. Alyssa Leah Pistano. Christina Sullivan. Jennifer Torres. Candice Wong. Margaret Silderman. Jasmine Ellis. Mia Fitkowska. Marupa Ghosh. Gabriella Gratsky. Tamara Ibrahim. Sabrina F. Juan. Surya Kamish. Caitlin Kamisaridis. Amelia Kristevsky, Sebastian Latera, Kirsten Marcelin, Pamela Mosticcio, Clive Ombagin, John V. Patel, and Megan Ristevsky. Congratulations, you may be seated.
Thank you, Mrs. Sharples. I'd now like to call up our two school counselors, Mrs. Farino and Ms. Patero, to give out caring awards. Good evening, everyone. I am Ms. Fiorino, and alongside me is Ms. Vitaro, and we are the middle school counselors. On behalf of myself and Ms. Vitaro, we want to start off by congratulating the eighth grade class on this incredible accomplishment. This year has brought many new challenges, but with the help of incredible teachers, staff, parents, administration, and the resiliency of all of you, you did it. It has been an honor to work with each and every one of you, and we could not be more proud of your hard work. One of the awards given out to two 8th grade students each year is the Caring Award. This award is presented to students who display what a true crusader represents. The two students chosen by the teachers for this award have displayed admirable character, kindness, and have been a role model to their peers throughout their middle school years. They have lended a helping hand to classmates when needed, and have shown just a little bit of kindness can go a long way, something that we as adults can all be be reminded of from time to time. It is my pleasure to announce that this year's Caring Awards go to the following students. Margaret Silderman. You can come up, Margaret. Charles Willow. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2020. I'd now like to call up uh, one of the students' favorite teachers and coach, Mr. Thomas Mulligan, to give out the VFW award. Good evening. The annual VFW award is presented to two students who demonstrate high character, outstanding citizenship, superior leadership, high standing academics, and high standing academics. Having known and interacted with these students over the years, I can attest on behalf of the Elmwood Park Memorial Middle School staff that no students are more deserving. The recipients are Caitlin Camistridis, and P.J. Terranova. Thank you, Mr. Mulligan. I'd now like to call up uh, ELA 8 teacher and our student congress advisor, Kristen Joy Stanzak, to give the Crusader Pride Scholarship. Good evening, and congratulations, graduates. I am Ms. Stanzak, and I will be presenting the Student Congress Pride Award. Qualifications for this award include pride, enthusiasm, and leadership within the Elmwood Park Middle School community. Recipients of this award receive a certificate and Amazon gift card. Congratulations to Ava Dennis. Woo! And Candace Wong. from Spencer Savings to present the Bank Scholarship Award. Hello everyone. 
I would like to start off with saying congratulations on your graduation. This is a milestone you will remember for the rest of your life. And the hard work and determination um, keep up the good work as you enter the next chapter of your life. I want to add, keep savings, uh, start savings early in life <laughs> and visit Spencer. Um, uh, this year's uh, award goes to Jamie Bollingen. Bollingen. We've been waiting for Dr. Iketty for presentation of class. Mrs. Fierro, are you ready? Mrs. Fierro is our eighth grade class advisor. We could not have had all these events without her. Thank you, Mrs. Fierro. As representative of the Department of Education, I hereby confirm that the candidates have satisfactorily completed all the requirements set forth by the state of New Jersey for middle school of education and are now eligible for graduation. The diplomas will be given out by Dr. Iaketti and Ms. Asperis, Vice President of the Board of Education. Graduates, please stand.
Nala Lampkin. Camilla Pitts. Tiana Garner. Yasmin El Falali. Demaya Moore. Councilwoman Dennis will be presenting the next few diplomas. Ava Dennis. Michaela Moody. Jasmine Egypt Ellis. Chloe Willis. Bernika Thohan. Andrew Tujog. Gabby Grodsky. Kirsten Marcellin. Angelina Cuccinello. Surya Kamesh. Candice Wong. Maruba Gosh. Charles Willow. Wow! Yeah, Papa! Christian Koo. Emma Sejas. Annabelle Cruz. Egypt Kinshan. Jesse Schrott. Angelise Delilah Gonzalez. Christian Najesti. Adam Ramadan. Allison Prosel. Natalia Bajnevsky. Eliza Lima. Alyssa Pepe. Woo! Chelsea Willow. Yeah, Chelsea! Woo! Emily Skavinska. Oh, yeah, right. Ashita Patel. Nikki Snyder. Jeremy Silva. Brianna Zoku. Leah Medina. Jessica Brown. Otto Barreto. Elliot Roman. Ali Abushaba. Ian Houston. Matt Scalani. Alondra Hernandez. Azra Ferozvi. Nicholas Mills. Caitlin Lepper. Annabella Ordonez. Jillian Abby Marston. Lena Giardina. Avery Donahue. Caitlin Camastridis. Sally Ivena. Marta Terzia. Laura Cotian. Lorena Cotian. Jennifer Torres. Kiss Matt Core. Camilla San Juan. John V. Patel. Christina Schaefer. 
Jason Cabrera. Brandon Gonzalez. Anna Toti. Amelia Sundech. Sarah Zmuda. Mia Fikowska. Melanie Castro. Ia Ozebeg. Rocio Paula. Denise Polanco. Christina Sullivan. Madison Narain. Ocean Dong. Emilia Kristevsky. Sebastian Laterra. Daniel San Juan. Christopher Barnes. Sabrina Juan. Clive Umbagen. About Abel Tavares. Aliyah Henriquez Perez. Oh! Eric Zelinsky. Sean Wells. Oh! Haramarit Singh. Nicola Anjakovsky. Oh! Moksh Patel. Rafael Puma. Michael Moriarty. Yakub Hassan. Jamie Belinget. Vincent Castillo. Juan Macias. Kevin Triska. Mihal Jovanovsky. Nicholas Alves. Andre Ayala. Eugene Opog. And board member Ms. Brzezewski is going to be presenting to her son Jacob Brzezewski. Kush Patel. Chris Romero. Henry Enoa. Alexander Sielrin. Rajaramrin. Margaret, Margaret Silderman. Pamela Mosticcio. Rashid Sutherland. Joseph Vargas. Edwards Chavaria, Joseph Urena, Joshua Morrell, Imad Hussein, Mohammed Damra, Gavin Townsend. Chelsea Huerto. Giselle Remenschneider. Adriana Salinas. Layla Ortiz. Selena Javanko. Daniel Vera. Antoinette Raymond Miller. <laughs> Emily Garcia. <laughs> Kai Guzio. 
Mihir Uskar. Emmanuel Rodriguez Rivas. Ramses Brasino. Brian Zhao. Troy Spinoza. Hamza Manyar. Patrick Grabawi. Newman Zangaria. Rizzo Radonsik. Iman Darwish. Tamara Ibrahim. Claudia Broda. Julia Buta. Megan Risteski. Mr. DiMatteo is presenting to Aldo Seya. We love you, AJ! Mr. DiMatteo is also presenting to Max Matteo. Ben Tucker. Jonathan Gallette. PJ Terranova. Rishi Tucker. Alexander Ozemi. Evan Valerio. Johan Espinosa. Alicia Ortega. Nettie Gomez. Zaley Montesino. Isabella Camacho. <laughs> Alexa McCabe. Valeria Osario. Ariel Rojas. <laughs> Hassan Weaver. <laughs> JL Fernandez. <laughs> Angelis Francisco. <laughs> Jaylene Sawyers. Yadi Perez. Wilkin Nunez. Diana Rincon. Christina Scarpula. Brooke Kessler. Tetiana Pachenko. Nicole Saya. <laughs> Julian Wake. <laughs> Darielle Hino. <laughs> Fernando Espinal. <laughs> Malik Crozzi. Carla Perez Lazala. Francesca Bizarro. Alyssa Pistano. Destiny S. Ruiz. Leslie Calixo. Ashlyn Bravo Calixo. Dalal, Dalal Shrita. Yeah. 
Elisha Torres Ramos. Janelle Murray. Councilwoman Balistrieri will be presenting to her daughter, Isabella Balistrieri. Alan Pichardo. Destiny Ruiz. Kayla Hernandez. Melody Cubellos. Samantha Sutsi. Joelle Valentin. Abel Lorenzano. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Jay Estevez. Anthony Baker. Vincent Erzo. Joseph Shavasta. Ethan Medina. Sabi Sidiqui. Angelina So. Chloe Gonzalez. Joshua Tavares. Justin Stokes. <laughs> Olivia Tiscornia. Dylan Bice. <laughs> Athena Pinto. <laughs> Athar Imran. Jose De Leon, Emily Tran, Adam Alfagi, Owen Rodriguez, Amy Danilo, Chloe Greasley. Madison Blue Jeter. Brian Romero. Juan Rodriguez. Devin Houghton. Samuel Prensa. Victor Santa Maria. Sean Sebastian. Mateo Geraldo. Thank you, Mrs. Fierro, Dr. Ray, Ketty, and Board of Education members. Graduates, remain standing. I would like to remind you students will get their actual diplomas tomorrow in school at their end of year party and they'll also be receiving their yearbook so they're actually coming to school tomorrow right kids yeah okay so we're here you guys ready all right class of 2022 please move your tassels from right to left Congratulations, class of 